using my front load washing machine uh, brushless motor again, but I've got a couple of wires here. If you notice, a couple of pretty good sized copper wires across from each other, and then two real small ones. And I'm going to set them up a little differently in a minute, but I wanted to show you what it is. And they're just hooked to a couple of bolts with the wire on each side. And right now I'm hooked up AC. And the way this works is not leg A, but leg B and leg C work together. And what I'm gonna do is short this out on these wires and show you what it does. Leg uh, B and C. And I wanna show you what happens. And we'll move on to that real quick. And these are those two little wires and I'm connected on AC out of my little generator here on uh, leg B and leg C. So it's B and C. And watch what happens when it vibrates a little bit. And they touch. See the sparks I get, the color of them. And how intense it is. And then when they hit, it really causes my uh, unit here, my generator, to clang on the magnets. But just wanted you to see that. And that's legs B and C. One's pushing out, one's pulling back in, back and forth. One way, then the other. One way, then the other. Back and forth. After I go, the more it grinds up, and then they'll weld together, and I can barely turn it. But anyway, that was that, and we'll move on. And this is AC on the bigger wires. If I slow down, it doesn't spark like it does on DC. But if I speed up a little, then I get an arc. And that was AC on the big wires. And we'll move on. And I'm using the big wires on this, changing the AC up to A and C legs. If you notice, even if I make them touch and I turn the handle, which you can hear it grind, I get nothing because they're time drawn. One's putting out when the other one's pulling in at, all, at different times. So when one's pushing, the other one's not pulling at the right time to, to work together. They're out of sync. They're not pushing and pulling at the same time. So that's A and C, they do not work together in this situation when you just use two. And I'll show you the third setup on AC now. Okay, now I'm set up on A and B. I skipped C. Kind of hard to see. I'm just using that DC or regular AC plug. But I've got the black one going to B on one prong and this red one going to A on the other prong. So that's A and B. We'll run this time and show you what happens. Okay, I'm on A and B now. Leg A and leg B, big wires. And if I turn the handle, you can hear it grind. Even if I touch them, I still don't get a spark because they're not timed right on this particular, the way this washing machine motor's set up. And most AC, even in the big power companies, they're timed different. That's why you got three phases. But anyway, it doesn't spark on A and B, and it won't spark on A and C, but B and C will spark. They're timed right together, push-pull at the same time. One's pushing, one's pulling. A and C don't work that way, and A and B don't work that way. They're not timed right. They're timed opposite each other, offset, 
But when you put that third, the other third one in with like B, B and C together, they're timed at the same time. Push, pull, push, pull at the same time. So I, I wanna make that clear on the AC. It's just a three phase deal. When one's pushing, one might be pulling, but you've only got two of them and that's on this motor, but most AC generating stations are the same way. They're timed to where the only the two are actually pushing and pulling at the same time. That third one is what they call the bastard leg. It's off ball, it's off. And when you throw that third one in, like you can use B and C together either way, push or pull either way. But when you put A in there with them, it's timed off of those two, so it doesn't work. So B and C work together, but A and C and A and B do not because A on my generator here, A is the bastard leg. It's the off ball, the odd ball. And that's that. Now I'm gonna set it up on DC. I've, you know, I've got my plug in here, my receptacle and my light switches, they're on the DC side where all the pushes go out this way and all the pulls come in this way. So I've hooked my wire leading in to my two wires up here, well, four wires, up to DC, and I'm gonna show you what that does on the little wires and the big ones now, since we've done AC. And we'll see what that does. Okay, these are those same two wires, but now I'm on DC. DC and we'll move on. Now here's the two bigger wires on DC. And if I slow down the turn. And my magnets are really grinding. Throws it out of center. <coughs> Pardon my cold. Anyway, that's DC on the big wires. And we'll move on. So in conclusion on this little deal I'm doing here with my uh, washing machine, there's 42 coils and there's they're divided into three, A, B, and C phases, which is 14 coils per phase and it alternates back and forth. If you notice, the AC, it only worked on the two phases, the B and the C, because they were timed to where B and C would push and pull at the same time. When another magnet was passing by the B coil, it, it didn't, or the A coil, it wouldn't work with it. So B and C are the only ones that actually push and pull at the same exact time. And A is offset from that. That's where your third one comes in, offset timing. But you notice that the arc, when I did hook it up with B and C, the arc was kind of erratic, sporadic, and it did what it needed to do. But when I hooked it up DC, it was more, more steady, more going, because all three outputs were getting pulled, but each output had, a, had another one to come back to. So it was more consistent, more constant. Everyone pushing out had one to come back to, so it was just a loop but you got that three of them, one, two, three, push and pull and push and pull and wherever it could connect on DC. But on AC, you've only got the two B and C that actually work opposite each other. But I wanted to show you that is how that worked with AC and DC on making some arcs. Thanks for watching.